that one's a little more how do you make a move when you've waited too long uh i don't know what you mean by too long because again I, i can't talk to you personally does that mean like on the first date i waited too long or has it been like i'm guessing when you say that you're in the friend zone that's what i'm guessing i'm guessing you've gone out on two or three dates you haven't done anything and she just sees you as a friend now um and that is more tough uh the reason that is is she is now if she actually put you in the friend zone well really you put yourself in the friend zone by not taking action i always say you, you guys put yourselves in the friend zone then um then you have to get out of it you have to turn her back on you have to change who you're being if you're constantly running from tension and she puts you as a guy that can't handle tension and can't ground well she's not going to want to kiss you even if she finds you sexy She's going to be like disappointed, but she's going to move on. And so you have to change who you're being. So one of the best things I tell guys that have been friend zone to do is to go out and, and actually change who they're being. So let's say they go through a program and they get good at meeting some girls. They go on some dates. They get a little more solid. They get a little more powerful in their in the way they're ha- and being with women. Uh, maybe they go on two or three dates with different girls and they're, 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 they're exploring what it's like to, to take girls on dates. And now they go hang out with this girl again. They're going to start to act different around her because their reality has shifted. They're going to start to step into more tension with her because as soon as you shift, in reality, it's super easy to get out of the friend zone. If you can drop all your nice guy shit, if you can drop into and be a different human being, and she's going to test you harder than she would have when she first met you because now you're changing the contract between you two. You had a contract to act this way with her and this is who she sees and you start acting different. She's gonna have a little bit of a conflict in her mind between who she sees you as and who you're being. And so now you start stepping into more tension. You start bumping into her more. You start grabbing her hand. You start being a little more sensual in your touch. You start leaning in. You whisper in her ear more. She's probably gonna buck back a little bit and you have to stay solid and grounded in that. And you have to also be willing to lose her. If you, if this is really that important to you, that she's a friend and you really want to date her, you have to be willing to, this is really important. You probably won't at worst case scenario, just end up staying in the friend zone, but you have to be willing to, because most nice guys think if they take, make any move at all, they're going to end up losing the girl. So you have to be willing to lose her. And for nice guys in the beginning, that's almost something I have them do. I have them stop. They usually have so many women friends that they need to stop accepting women as friends for a little while, new women, and start saying, look, I'm not looking for a friend right now. I'm looking to date. And if you're not willing to, uh, I'm looking at, let's put it in just the way I used to put it. Look, I think you're beautiful. I think you're sexy. And I'm not looking for a friend right now. I really like you. And if you ask me to just be your friend, then here's what's going to happen. If I, I would just be pretending to be your friend while waiting to try to figure out how to, to move it forward, waiting and hoping. So in a sense, I'd be lying to you and I'm not going to lie to you. I like you. So if we hang out anymore, I want you to know it's going to come from the perspective of me liking you and I'm not going to lie to you about that. And I'm not going to pretend otherwise. And that gives you the sense of a permission if she hangs out with you more to kind of push the tension and play with it. Um, now, once you're out of the nice guy syndrome, and you're no longer running nice guy. Um, you don't need to say that stuff. You can just be, I mean, it's great to have women friends actually, especially sexy women friends. Cause they'll introduce you to other sexy women. If you're still dating, uh, all kinds of amazing stuff happens. But when you're, when you have nothing but women friends, sometimes you need to put that wall down for a while while you figure out what it's like to have boundaries and all that. And once you develop the sense of strength and you're no longer just being friend zoned all the time because you're too nice then you can start having women friends again. And because then it'll be by choice and not, and not by have to. You won't be sitting there going, I, I have no choice. To, the only way I can hang out with these girls is to be their friend. You know, you'd be like, I like being this girl's friend and this girl I'm dating. And that's, it's great and it's awesome because it's all by choice because you now know how to set boundaries. So the, the best advice I could give to you is if you've got a girl, and this is what I'm assuming, that you has become a good friend of yours, you've known for a while, and it's been too late, go out and work on this stuff with other women, date, get start breaking up your nice guy, get more solid, get more powerful as a man. And then as you start to hang around with her more, that new persona is going to start to take effect with her. You're going to start to make more moves, take more action, and it's going to cause a new effect. Okay. Um, 
but don't, I wouldn't, ex if she really means that much to you, I wouldn't go out and experiment on her. Okay. If you could spend less time with her and date more and that might make her jealous, but that's not the intent of it. You're really dating more to actually learn to be good with women, to be more solid, to practice, to get to, to get to, and ultimately, if you guys are interested in relationships, which I hope you are, it's going to make you amazing for a relationship someday because the whole idea is that you are developing the ability to be more solid with women so that one day when you're in a relationship, you can be really solid with your partner and keep sexual attraction alive for a lifetime, keep you too polarized for a lifetime, keep you too powerful for a lifetime because you understand more about women and, and sexuality, sensuality, the feminine and connection than 90, probably 97, 98, 99% of men out there because you've actually taken time to really develop this, which just makes for an awesome relationship later. And so hopefully that helps. And uh, with that said, I'll let you guys go. I want to thank you for being on it. Uh, I want to invite all of you guys uh, that are interested to come out. You can go to thefearlessman.com, check us out there, and you can see that our events page has it listed there. It's going to be me and Zan Perion sharing the stage, speaking throughout the day about different aspects of all this stuff. You can ask personal questions. There'll be demos. There'll be models. There'll be live work. It'll be an amazing event. So uh, I look forward to meeting you in person, and I'd love to answer these questions in person because they go a lot deeper, a lot deeper than what we can do on here. Here I'm reading a question and I have to just guess at a lot of what's going on with you. There I can read you, I can feel you out, I can get right into it with you. And it's it will be a very powerful event. With that said, remember, only the confident really live. See you in the next video.